YouTube. YouTube. What a crazy, crazy night for old Cali P. Uh, for one, sorry if I sound terrible. Uh, just took some day quill. It's nighttime, but I took some day quill because I was at work. Oh, what a night, what a night. Ended up uh, getting off <clears throat> quite a bit early because we had a citywide power outage. Well, I guess part of the town, from what I know, uh, from everybody I talked to, was out of power. And uh, there's no working in the dark, all right? Uh, even though old Kali P had flashlights for everybody, uh, ain't no working in the dark. So, got off a little early. Can't say uh, sucks too bad. Of course, the wallet's going to take a hit, but it's always nice to get off a little bit early. Um, but, it was, it was a strange night, to say the least. Um, walk out, moon, gorgeous, uh, bright orange, huge. Um, and everything's black. I mean, traffic's still moving, but other than that, everything is black. And it was kind of creepy, to be honest, which, it, it was just weird. And, uh, the funny thing is, the wife and I, uh, just started season two of, uh, Z Nation. I don't know if you guys watch Z Nation, but if you're a Walking Dead fan, if you guys are into the apocalyptic shows, um, it's a little cheesy sometimes. But it's it, it's funny. It's not too spoofy. There's still a good story behind it. And, and you know what? It, it's pretty badass. And those zombies are fucking scary in that in that show. They really are. Speaking of the show and with everything at night, I was just like, wow. I swear I see a herd of zombies coming out of Street Boys. I'm hopping in my car and I'm out like a trout in a midsummer drought. And all my buddies started laughing and it kind of sparked a conversation. I mean, this was the second time the power had cut off on us. And this time it wasn't coming back on. So we were all just sitting around bullshitting, taking our breaks. And uh, we were talking about all these zombie shows and our favorites and what we would do and what's cheesy and what, you know, everybody has these conversations with their buddies. Um, and we were talking and I said, guys, right now, say this, a, a herd of zombies came down the street. What do you have to protect yourselves with? Like, I mean, what what could we defend ourselves with? And, you know, all, my buddy Joey starts naming off things he has in his car. My, you know, all my buddies start naming off things. And it really just got me thinking, you know, if shit were to hit the fan just like that, just like the power went out, what if it was a, a complete grid down situation or something, you know, really did go bad? Uh, would you have what you need with you at work uh, or wherever you are to get you home or to wherever you may be going? Everybody gives me shit, but when it comes down to it and stuff like this happens, everybody gives me crap because Ryan has three or four flashlights. But when it comes down to it and the power goes out, everybody's a hater until it saves their ass. So I've always been one of those guys I've re I I'd rather have it and not need it then need it and not have it I carry a backpack everywhere for the most part I mean I don't keep it, it's not a MacGyver bag uh, but damn near I mean I keep a little bit of everything in there so um, tonight it, it really came in handy what what we we're talking about was what we would be able to defend ourselves against you know we're not talking invasion of Russia or some, you know uh, the North Koreans coming in trying to take us over. We're talking about zombies in particular this time. So uh, maybe we'll talk later about being invaded uh, by foreign troops. But right now we're talking about if zombies came down the street at your work. You're sitting there, you're working, you're doing your job. Everybody's having fun. Sally's over there bullshitting. And all of a sudden you see a herd of zombies just barge through the door. Start, you know, fuck, you look out the window and they're marching down the street. What would you do? Would you have enough? to keep you alive until you could get to wherever it is that you need to go. Um, so, that's my question to you. Do you have what you need? Do you? So, my question to you guys is, 
Would you guys have enough on your person, in your vehicle, in your storage locker, um, at work, in your gym locker, wherever you spend most of your time to get back to your safe zone, to get back to your family, to get back to your house, uh, to get up to your cabin, to get out to your bug out location, do you guys have with you what it would take? Or do you figure, oh, if I have to, I could always make it home. It's not too far, you know, maybe you only work a few blocks from where you live. I know uh, a few people live within, you know, walking distance of work, which is freaking awesome, but do you, if shit hits the fan, would you be able to make it to your safe zone with just what you have available to you, either from work, uh, the gym, uh, wherever you are, wherever. So that's what we're going to talk about. And I'd like to tag a couple people and see what they have to think about or have to say about the uh, subject. So I'm going to tag a couple of my good friends here on YouTube. I'm going to tag fellow Californian 5150 the Bob. What do you have in your car, on your person, around you at work to get you home, to get you home safe, to wherever, uh, well, even if it's not home, to get you to your safe zone? Um, let's see, who else, who else? Um, let's go with Neil the Knife Guy, the Canadian. Let's see what he has. And uh, last but not least, my brother SSR Knives. So those are going to be my three tags. Hopefully those guys will uh, tag three people as well. And we'll keep this going.